For decades, it's been a mystery. One of the largest military planes ever built crashed nose first off the Southern California coast in the early days of the Cold War. That U.S. Air Force B-36 sank to the ocean floor, never to be seen again until now. We do this because we love discovery. It's, it's just an obsession. Captain Ray Arntz and his team spent years searching for this. The B-36 bomber went down in August of 1952 with a crew of eight on board. Well, it was the largest combat operational bomber ever built and ever to fly in the world. The B-36 has been stripped down in Operation Featherweight. Stripped down but still massive, 10 engines, a wingspan of 230 feet, the ability to haul 84,000 pounds of bombs. The B-36 is now able to cruise above 50,000 feet. Nicknamed the Peacemaker, the B-36 was more of a deterrent to Cold War Russia. It never flew in combat. The doomed B-36 was on a test flight from San Diego's Lindbergh Field when one of its engines caught fire. The pilot instantly realized they were in dire straits. He turned that airplane around, headed it out away from uh, San Diego. One engine apparently fell off on their way out over the ocean. Another engine was on fire on top of that. Pilot Dave Franks held the giant plane level long enough for seven crewmen to bail out. By the time the crew was out, he'd lost control of the aircraft and it went straight in, so it cost him his life. Photos captured the bomber's final descent and its aftermath. Franks was a hero. Okay, that's a big deal. I'm ready, buddy. Let's do it, buddy. Kendall Rain and John Walker head into the deep. Right now, we think we're swimming along the length of the fuselage. The divers look for objects unique to the B-36 to confirm their find. We've, we've looked at photographs of the B-36 landing gear, um, and there's no question that what you're looking at right now is that landing gear. Right. This is one of the 20 millimeter machine guns right here. The two barrels are on your right. This is a sighting blister where a crewman might pop up his head to get a look outside. Here's one from the last B-36 ever made, now in a museum. This is one of the main landing gear tires. We measured this using our penetration line, so you can get some scale looking at that, of how big that tire is. Almost five feet in diameter. But right now, we're, we're over part of the left wing. Yeah, this thing just fell to bits when it hit the water. That was incredible. You see the size of this tire? Six of the men who bailed out that day in 1952 were rescued. Walt Hoffman bailed out, but was never found. And pilot Dave Franks will be remembered as the pilot who sacrificed his own life to save an untold number of others. To see him at, with his family or with his son and to uh, realize uh, the sacrifice, he knew what, what he was risking there, but he did the absolute right thing, captain of the ship. Captain Ray and his crew won't reveal the exact location of the wreck out of fear it would attract commercial dive boats. They say it's a grave site and should be left in peace. For more background on the wreck and other searches underway, you can log on to our website at abc7.com and click on the See It on TV link. Wow, mm -hmm. fascinating story. Really exciting. Dallas Rangers is ready to talk about our weather because there's already rain out there. Some rain out in uh, Ventura.